evening, ladies and germs. Da -da -da. I believe back in the day that used to get a big laugh. Not back in my day, but like in my parents' day. That was a thing with stand up comedians. Anyway, um, here's the thing if you're having a bad day or a bad moment, um, do me a favor and everyone else. Don't take it out on other people. There's a the thought. Um, especially when it doesn't have anything to do with those people or when those people didn't create it or they don't deserve it. Or, I mean, nobody ever deserves for you to be just shitty to them. But, um, you know, it's one thing to talk to somebody about it and, you know, want to vent. But when you're just downright being ugly to somebody else that has nothing to do with your sunny disposition you might want to check that because that's not okay at least it's not okay with me it may be with other people but don't park it over here okay and I just think that everybody should you know I always say everybody should try to be as kind as you possibly can because you never know what the rest of the day is going to hold for you. You could be in the hospital five minutes from now. You could be six feet under five minutes from now. Okay, it takes longer to bury you than five minutes, but I think you know what I mean. You could be deceased, dead, kick the bucket. No more. Bye, Felicia. You know what I mean? So try your best to be kind to... Um, to love one another because golly uh, we don't have very long on this earth you know um, I can't wait to get to my next life I promise you that not because I have a death wish okay maybe sometimes I do anyway um, but yeah because my next life is going to be off the lick it's going to be great it's going to be awesome I can't wait, but um, if you're having a bad day, vent. It's okay to vent, but it's not okay to take it out on other people. Um, you know, your snide comments, your uh, your tone, your demeanor, everything about that directed at someone else is not okay, just so you know. Um, additionally... You know, I've said before about um, not really having many regrets because I think it's pointless to have regrets. I don't have regrets. I don't think many really at all. Um, everything I've done in my life, for the most part, I was happy when I was doing it. So I really can't regret that. Even if it was a bad choice, even if it... You know, even if it was a choice to um, drink or do drugs or get into a bad relationship or whatever, at the time, you can bet your butt I was happy doing whatever it was that I was deciding to do. And it may not have been the best thing for me to do or the best choice for me to make, but I have no regrets because every decision that I have ever made is the makeup of who I am. Uh, it, it, has, it has molded me into the person that I am today and so to all of those people in my life that um, were part of my bad choices I do not regret you not one bit if you were part of a bad relationship I don't regret you if you were part of a good relationship gone bad I don't regret you I you know I love you guys whether you were a friend an ex-husband an ex-boyfriend a you know, a drug dealer, a bartender, whatever. I really have a lot of, uh, a lot of love in my heart for you guys because I would not be who I am today if I had not had you come across my path in this life. So, um, you know, for those of you out there that are like cussing your ex-husband or your ex-wife or, you know, your step-parents or your, you know, your alcoholic dad or your drug addict mom or, you know, siblings that have maybe treated you differently or badly, 
don't have anger towards those people. Try not to have anger. It's hard. It's really hard because I did for a long time. But I had to stop and realize that, you know what? I have love in my heart for these people because I would not be who I am today if it weren't for having those people in my life. And you know what? I think I'm a damn good person right now. And that's where I am. So um, love those people for the good that they did for you that may not have been good in that moment, but that is good now. You know, now I know not to do drugs. I know not to drink like a fish. I know not to get into an abusive relationship. I know not to, um, have a spouse or a, um, close friend or something like that. That is, um, an alcoholic or a drug addict or, um, you know, I mean, they can be those things, but I can make a choice, a better choice now than I could maybe when I was younger, because when I was younger, you know, I was just stupid. Everybody's stupid when they're young because you don't know, you don't have those life experiences and it's, um, it takes life happening for you to have those experiences. So, you know, if you're going through a period in your life where you have so much anger and so much hate towards somebody that has hurt you or wronged you, don't try not to it's really really hard but you know what have love for maybe not that person if if you want to twist it that way but have love for what they gave you in the long run because in the long run is where you are as soon as you left that situation you know if it happened 10 minutes ago now is the long run so what did the, what did you do for me now, I mean, you know, that is affecting me now or is, is, um, making me who I am now, something that you did back then. So, um, yeah, I just want, I just want to say that, you know, everybody has, um, a past, everybody has hardships, everybody has exes, everybody has, um, you know, step skeletons in the closet, right? Do not be afraid of those skeletons in the closet. Not necessarily something that you want to, you know, throw out there and be talking about all the time, but don't hide it either. You know, if it comes up, acknowledge that, yeah, I, you know, this is part of who I was. I'm not that person anymore, but that person made me who I am now. So I'm all about that. And just know that it's okay to have a past. It's okay to have been angry and have hate in your heart as long as you get rid of that and you turn it into something very positive. So with that being said, I hope you guys have an incredible day and, you know, keep that positive energy out there and please say, uh, prayers for, uh, David Carr. He, uh, is my, uh, sister-in-law's brother, twin brother, and he's in the hospital right now and he's not doing so hot. Um, not, not, life-threatening, but he's, you know, he's having a situation. So, um, just keep him in your prayers and I love you guys. You are in my thoughts. You're in my heart and you are in my prayers. Golly, man. Shabbos.